Are you looking for a high protein, healthy breakfast? Here's your answer. My go-to breakfast is a super shake nine times out of 10. The main reason that I like the super shakes are because I can load it up with protein and veggies and super nutrient dense foods that I might not love to eat. And I can blend them up and mask them with some peanut butter or some other flavor that allows me to get the nutrients without the crappy flavor that I might not like. I always start with water as my base because it's zero calories, right? Here we are, we're gonna add some ice to it. So once I have my water, uh, the next thing I'm gonna add is the protein. I use the True Athlete Protein. I have no affiliation with them. It's a vitamin shop product. The reason that I like this is one, it's affordable. Two, it tastes good. Three, it mixes well. You don't get the clumps and the chunks as you mix it up, it mixes really well. And then the last part is I, it's NSF certified, meaning that a third party actually tested it for purity, right? You gotta be really careful with your supplements. I always recommend to my clients, make sure that it is NSF certified. So that way you know what you're getting. I start with 40 grams of protein. I aim for at least 50 grams in each meal. So I eat three meals a day, plus some snacks that are high protein. Right, so next I'm gonna add my creatine to my smoothie. Creatine is amazing for performance, for brain health, for um, increasing energy. This is a proven staple for all fitness enthusiasts. Three to five grams a day is sufficient for creatine. You do need to drink it every day. And yes, includes days that you're not training. All right, so next I am adding my peanut butter. This is uh, the peanut butter and this I weighed out. This is 32 grams of peanut butter. Um, so this is what one serving of peanut butter should look like, if you can see that. So I weighed this, um, it's exactly 32 grams. All right, so we got chocolate, we got peanut butter, um, we gotta add the banana. Got the banana. Next, I'm going to add my flaxseed. Um, this is good for omega-3s. This is healthy fats. This is gonna combat a lot of the processed fats that are omega-6s and a little bit more inflammatory. Omega-3s are anti-inflammatory, so balancing your omega-6s and your omega-3s are important. And then lastly, I'm going to add some oats. I'm gonna add a half a cup. Depending on if you're trying to gain weight, lose weight, or maintain weight would be how much of the oats that you'd wanna add. Oats are gonna be a great carbohydrate. They're a whole grain. They give you some fiber. There's lots of benefits to them. Um, but mostly I'm looking at energy, right? So if I'm trying to gain weight, um, on a bulk, I'm trying to put on some muscle, then I'm probably gonna add more oats. So instead of a half a cup, I might do a cup, right? To increase my calories, to increase my daily energy. That way I have more resources to devote to building more muscle. On the flip side of that, if I'm trying to cut or I'm trying to lose weight, then I'm probably not gonna add any oats to my smoothie. My carbohydrates can just be from the banana that I put in there, or I might just do a half a cup. And right now I'm kind of in maintenance. I'm not really trying to gain or lose. So I'm doing a half a cup. I want a little bit of carbs. I want a little bit of energy and I wanna keep being satiated throughout the day. So I'm gonna add about a half a cup. Last but not least, we need some nutrients. We need some veggies. So we're gonna throw some spinach in here to get some nutrients. Threw some on the ground. Um, but yeah, give me, I usually put in about a handful or two. All right, and there you have it. A chocolate peanut butter super shake, loaded with protein, lots of nutrients, tons of calories, healthy fats, everything you need to start your day on the right foot. Cheers.